dear brothers and sisters i am very happy to share this message with you on the occasion of sri sj asher series 1.0 pilot project rajkot city it is very nice that the validatory function is scheduled on wednesday january 12 2022 on the auspicious day of swami vivekanand jayanti the national youth day why i am telling this because the academic study has been carried out by the energetic and dynamic youth with the guidance of the experienced seniors who are passionate about sharing knowledge and experience earned after decades of field work i congratulate you all on completing this four month long program where you learned about engineering related to water management basics of the town planning and ai ims project it is important that you have used your time to think about challenges faced by society team work and collective learning shall be useful when you start working as a professional Swami Vivekananda ji always believed that the service to mankind should be selfless because service to mankind is service to god he was also convinced that it is the power of youth that will help us in the transformation of the nation he said my faith is in the younger generation it is they who will work out all the problems like loans and we also know that youth life is the most precious life youth is the best time the way in which you utilize this period will decide the nature of coming years that lie ahead of you today on the birthday of swami vivekanand i urge each one of you to resolve to believe in yourself and your ideas swami vivekananda said faith 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 in yourself he also said that if you have faith in 330 millions of gods and goddesses of your country but if you do not have faith in yourself you are an atheist the old religion said he is an atheist who does not believe in god the new religion says he is he is an atheist who does not believe in himself so first believe in yourself you are the creator of your own destiny so for all the youth this is the message of swami vivekananda believe in yourself have faith in yourself you can do anything under the sun because there is infinite power already within you which is in a potential form you just have to work it out and once you do that there is no material force that can stop you from achieving what you want and if what you want is in the interest of the society your passion and hard work are going to benefit everyone around you i think this program is like a double edged sword that cuts lack of knowledge on one side and solves social problems on the other and when this word is in the hands of energetic youths like you that have been guided and mentored by the experts it is sure to work wonders many congratulations to the organizing team program director and advisors i hope that this program continues to nurture youth in the service of society and guide them towards a sustainable successful and socially conscious future before i conclude i would like to share with you another national youth day celebration that was held on 12th january 2006 at porbandar we had invited dr apj abdul kalam who was the president of india at that time to inaugurate 
विवेकानंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वैल्यू एजुकेशन एंड कल्चर विवेक एज पर इज प्रोमिस ही डिड कम टू पोरबंदर ऑन ट्वेल्थ जनवरी इनग्रेटेड विवेकानंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वैल्यू एजुकेशन कल्चर एंड देन एड्रेस्ड अबाउट फाइव थाउजेंड यूथ एंड टीचर्स एंड पेरेंट्स एंड डिग्नेटरीज हुर प्रेजेंट ऑन दैट ओकेजन ही स्टार्टेड with this saying that swami vivekanand is not the ideal only is not only a great personality not of the not only of the nation but of the whole globe and then he shared an incident jamshed ji tata was going traveling with swami vivekanand in the same steamer from yokohama to vancouver swami vivekan was going to chicago to participate in the world's parliament of religions which started which was started on 11 september and he delivered his historic speech as you know on 11 september 1893 so he was going for that and jamshed ji tata was going for the industrial exhibition that was held there during this journey swami vivekanand inspired jamshed ji tata to not only import the items but to start industry and not only start industry but to start also research on the projects and that is how later on indian institute of science at bangalore was established by jamshed ji tata and in his letter jamshed ji tata requested swami vivekanand to lead the campaign for this big project of indian institute of science and after that he told how india can become a developed country by 2020 and then he shared his views and then replied to the questions of the youth now one of the youth stood up and said sir operation duryodhan operation chakravi and other operations have revealed the tip of the iceberg that is rampant corruption in the country today as the president of india how do you feel about it and where do you think lies the solution and dr kalam stood up and said you see the parliament has already taken some action on those mps then he took out he took a book of swami vivekananda in his hand and read out a passage from the book of swami vivekananda where swami vivekananda says no number of parliament acts can make a nation good can make a nation great then what can make a nation good and what can make a nation great then again he read out from the book of swami vivekananda where swami vivekananda says only a large number of good enlightened citizens can make a nation good can make a nation great and then dr kalam said and the government cannot produce good people then who can do it only three persons can do it he said what is who are the three father mother and the teacher so here the professionals that have guided you they can be a great source of inspiration to you for the whole life and there is a great responsibility on the heads of the father mother that is parents and the teachers they have to guide the youth who will then work out wonders and make india great Swami Vivekananda dreamt that India will become so great that its past glory will fade into insignificance. We all have to work on work for that, fulfilling that dream of Swami Vivekananda. I'm sure the energetic youth who are present here and the professors and the guides, with their enthusiasm, with their contribution, will be able to fulfill the dream of Swami Vivekananda. this is the great this is the best tribute that we can pay to swami vivekanand on his birthday thank you very much